Thank you. Welcome. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of you have heard of Top Control? And prior to this conference? One, two, three. Okay, I'll change that. I'll introduce the company and I will tell you what we are doing, what we're good at, and what we are up to. Lights out, please. You might be thinking we are selling forklifts. That's not the case. But we make them do useful stuff. So what is top control? Well, we have 47 slides and 12 minutes left. So let's uh, get rolling. Top control is based in South Tyrol. That's right in the northern part of Italy, near the Austrian border. It was founded by Mike Michael Saltuari, really there. And we are active in industrial atomization in the fruit and um, vegetable business worldwide. There are currently approximately 75 employees worldwide, and we are growing fast. We are growing everywhere, which is, if everybody if you knows somebody who wants to work with us, I'm pitching. That's the only slide. Where are those jobs? Well, our headquarters, as I said, is in Talon. We have um, a secondary development seat for software development in, Bolzano, in uh, Trento, that's one hour's drive away. And we have subsidiaries in South Africa and Spain. We, of course, we need a worldwide network of partners because we can't be everywhere with 75 employees. Now, we are currently active in 29 countries. And we have concluded more than 840 successful projects all over the world. Now, what do these projects consist of? What are we really doing? I mean, this is quite a mouthful. But concretely, what is it what we're doing? What we do is we help to make our customers more money by increasing efficiency. Now, how do you do that? I mean, we all consume dairy products, fruits, vegetables. Some don't consume meat, but most do. And I'm quite sure most of you have consumed apples that have passed over our equipment. Now, we are driving the efficiency effort. Top Control is a full service provider. This means we provide everything. The full, ready plant where you can start working. All our offerings, or most of our offerings, include some kind of software. That's what ties everything together. The business processes, the control layer, the logic, the evaluation, storage of data, traceability, name it, and it has, um, has, has a solution within our portfolio. One of our key products that we sell are weighing solutions. Food usually is sold by weight. But it's not sold without any containment. 
So we provide the solution for our customers to put the fruits in packages, in punnets, in crates, in cartons, on pallets, whatever. We don't sell all the equipment required for these processes. But part of them is developed and built really on our main site in South Tyrol. Then everything that needs to be sold is somehow labeled usually. The small punnets, the, the blisters, they have a label on them. The cartons that contain them for transport purposes, they have a label on them. The pallets, they are labeled. Everything is labeled. And we provide those solutions. And of course, some requirements are special. Our customers are sometimes special. So we provide customizable solutions with our engineering department. One of our most important products, software rise, and also one of our simplest ones is statistics weights. Statistics weights is basically a system that integrates production processes with devices. All devices on the screen are made by us, designed by us, created by us. There are single head uh, wares, there are multi head wares, it's a broad selection of devices. The purpose of this is to reduce giveaway, to increase efficiency on the packaging line. If you overfill your boxes, nobody's gonna pay you. And we help reducing this problem. These systems are in use everywhere in the world where there's fruit growing, from the desert of Morocco to China mainland to um, South Africa, to Moroccan desert, everywhere. And most probably, if you consume blueberries or table grapes, there's a high chance that it has passed our equipment somewhere. Fruit Manager is the biggest sibling. It's intended for way, way, way more uh, complex and highly industrialized uh, packaging processes. For example, apples. Where I come from, Apples is big business. More or less 10% of the apple production worldwide is from South Tyrol. And it passes our equipment. Hence, if you find apples here that are from South Tyrol, the chance is really high that it has passed our equipment. Fruit Manager is complex. Fruit Manager consists of many, many modules, and they do very different things. We handle the entire production process from high-base storages, to packaging, to shipping, to storing, everything. Without our systems, the production line stop. Which means we have a certain degree of requirement to, respect to, to, to robustness of the system. Storage move is the reason I'm here. Storage move is the system you saw in the introductory video. What does it do? Well. Basically, it's a logistics system. But how? Well, it integrates with all kinds of transfer systems. And one of these transfer systems is forklifts. Operated by a driver for now, but we're integrating autonomous ones in the near future. So the machine-to-machine -machine communication problematics we heard in the keynote of Rick Ferguson affects us directly. We are part of that machine-to-machine -machine community. What we see here are the forklift drivers. They get their missions, what to do next, via these systems. Now, Fruit Manager and Storage Move form a winning team. Fruit Manager manages the production process. Storage Move manages the logistics of the pr product, of the raw material and the packaged ones. So, why I'm here? Because of these drivers and these kind of sensors. This gives the forklift and our software system the possibility to know where the forklift is on the plant at each and every moment in time. And the sensor pack is, is bigger. We have additional sensors that tell us what's in front of the forklift. How high above the ground is the fork? So we can know what has been loaded and unloaded at every point in time, wherever it is on the plant. As I'm speaking here, this sensor box is going live. 
It connects everything we have seen until now from the forklift to our software system. What is it? This is the prototype in white. The production ready casing is obviously black. I mean, how could it be else? This system needs to be integrated in the existing system we already have for storage move. And that's where Qt comes into play. The box communicates with an industrial PC mounted in the forklift via Bluetooth energy. Nothing special. But then you have, as a service technician, you have to connect to the device. You have to monitor it. You have to gather statistics. There's nothing, nothing special about it. What we see here is line of business applications where Qt is used to bridge technological gaps. We have different screens. I won't go into any further detail here, but the important point to consider is how can we create a system where our software will run on the industrial PC, in the future on a service technician's service laptop, tablet, whatever. We need those information. We need the service technician to be able to use the same software, the same configuration software on each and every device that will be hand in the future. We are in the packaging process industry. Our systems have a long lifespan. There are significant investments for our customers. So what we expect is a minimum of five to 10 years of useful life from our equipment, which means we have to protect our investment, but also investment of customers, which means we need a robust platform we can trust on to be there for the foreseeable future and to be ported to each and every new device family that comes along. Now, what we can do with this system is communicate to the device, attach it to the existing systems we have. How? Well, the current system with other options for sensor boxes use raw TCP sockets for communications. You have that. You have that in uh, Qt. It's, it's really easy to use. You have the Bluetooth systems. You have everything you need. You can perform updates. Your toolbox makes us more productive. But it's not all smooth sailing, of course. We have found issues. Significant ones. But overall, I would say the current system, as we have it, as it's running on the forklifts, on the industrial PCs that we have seen in the pictures, is a significant advantage for us, but also for our customers. And that's basically the effect of using same architectural processes and implementation strategies in, in implementing these kinds of systems. We have found a strange situation. For example, I don't know how many of you know that Bluetooth LE requires Windows 10. By show of hands? Yeah, I didn't know that. So one of our customers has Windows 7 industrial PCs. But our current solution won't work. So what can we do? Well, C++ as a language has us covered. We, with the if-def system, we can uh, enable, disable uh, different options. OK, that was step one. Step two, well, what could be used instead of the Bluetooth LE connection? Easy. Use QC report and then an external driver. How much time would you think, by show of hands, would this require? A week? Hands up. Two days, one day, four hours for the initial prototype, and two hours to clean up. And that's for developers who have started learning C++ as a language, QML as a language, and Qt as a toolkit two months ago. Sebastian, Clemens, really, really well done. I mean, and that's the reason why we think many future developments will be enabled, not only enhanced, but enabled by these kinds of rapid application development 
possibilities that rich frameworks provide. That's all from my part. I'm open to questions. Thank you.